Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Siege video. Today we're going against Rage Gang and Oni Proc. Uh, we are getting very, very close to Siege Tournament. I think we have 8 Sieges left, <clears throat> maybe 7, not too sure. Last Siege, we got first place against Celebrity and NUW, sorry, NUE. Uh, we had an 89% win rate. I did lose once last Siege. I also lost once today, so it's not starting off that great. We definitely had a much better win rate though compared to the other two guilds, which solidified our win. Uh, and right now, the status of the match looks like this. We have a 93% win rate, 70% on Rage Gang, and 78 on Oni Proc. My standing, I did do a few attacks. I lost once, and our defenses are getting a few wins, thankfully. So I did reserve this one right here. And let's see what we could take here. Definitely not the safest team. Just because I don't have great artifacts, it's not a 2A. <laughs> Let's hope that it still works out. I guess damage dealt on light. Yeah, the thing is, it's not a 2A. This is such a bad guard rune too, freak. Is that better? Uh, sl slightly, yeah, it is. More tankiness, a little more defense. That's good. 41% okay we get we get less crit damage though I think that's fine I think the problem is we might have less defense okay let's try this so we're going to be killing the Conrad first hoping it works can we kill please okay 63k still pretty close awesome and then just put glancing I guess nope here comes the bomb perfect now we we save this to kill this, right? Does this kill? Perfect. And should we go for a stun? Perfect. Let's get rid of that defense break. Put glancing? Nope. Pushback? Wait, does this even push back? I'm not even too sure. <laughs> I haven't used this guy for a while. It seems like it doesn't push back. Okay, it's proccing, but it's fine. We're tanky. Stun? No stun. We heal. We give the buff. I don't even know if we have skill 3 right now. We don't. Stun. No stun. Okay. It's all good. Slow. Oh, no slow. Oh, shoot. Don't defense break. Awesome. <laughs> uh, oh, well. It doesn't have to be the copper, actually. Oh, it does. Let's go. <laughs> we got that win. Let's see what we could take here. Interesting stuff. Or is it? Actually, no. Oh, wait, but that's with the high defense. Oh, I remember what I did last time on this. <laughs> I totally remember what I did. I don't even think I changed back the runes. So if you guys remember, I was scared that that might be on a trap build. We have a Cassandra that's on Swift, and I didn't switch that build up. So this should still be a Swift. <laughs> and I think they're not moving first anyways, right? So I think we can just take this. Oh, wrong build. Okay, that one's not scaled up, so let's take the other one. Yeah, there's no way, right? There's no way. Like, it could be a defense trap for Sonya, but we have Cassandra here that's on Swift. It should kill. There you go, 48k. And then we just kill again. <laughs> oh, I love it. I definitely am going to keep a second Cassandra. I can even use a Claire there, actually, if I wanted to. Because I did pull Claire. So Claire probably much does the same thing. Do we move with the speed buff? We do. I wonder if we could kill the Ophelia though. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's just way too easy. 50k. <laughs> oh, that was too easy. Okay, and then everything else is taken. <clears throat> Should we try the Fennecca again? I mean, I, I love the Fennecca. But the thing is, they don't have much to hit here. So Fennecca might be a bad idea, actually. Just take this. Um, we take Darien for redu reduced damage. Sorry, not Darien. What's this? Diaz for reduced damage. I feel like I lack damage, though. Let's try it. We're much slower, too. 
Okay, he's on Swift, so good thing we didn't bring in the speed team. He doesn't have a whole lot of whole lot of accuracy, because he didn't land anything. Let's try to kill this guy first. Um no. Heal block. Resist. Okay, defense break. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, he has nothing. Let's do some big damage here. Boom. Dude, this is a poorly ruined Vritra. Okay, there's a heal. Attack break. Big. See, we do, we do, <laughs> our, our Tetra doesn't have to do anything. Ooh, oh, why are you going for Kinky though? Well, Kinky is lowest HP, so kind of understandable. Oh, he landed that though. Uh oh. This is why we saved this here. Perfect. Ooh, we needed a proc there though. Okay, defense break, two turn. Ah, oh, I wanted a two turn defense break right there. Okay, we need to heal up a little, so I'm not gonna hit the Fennica just in case we get defense broken again. Good proc, so we're full health. No one's gonna destroy on that side, so. Oh, he's actually on despair! Funny. Diaz taking everything like a boss. Attack break. Ooh, defense break is good. Okay. Let's wake this guy. He's skill two. Yeah, perfect. Big damage. That's decent damage right there. Nice. Nice, it's a two-turn defense break. That's big. Oh, we didn't land the heal block. If we did, that would have been huge. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Wait, let's do some more damage. Okay, he didn't land a stun on anybody. The defense, sorry, the revenge didn't land a two-turn defense break. Okay, she's changing targets. Oh, we didn't get a defense break there. Okay, let's just spread out the damage just to be a little more safer. Oh, he got the stun. That's big. Okay, we kill here. Oh, if he landed freaking crit once, that would have been a kill. But we take everybody's damage really well. We just have to be careful of the Miyang skill too, going on to Kinky with the defense break. If that doesn't happen, then I think we never lose. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, there's our window. So Miyang is dead. Okay. Okay, smart play, smart play. We did have a window to lose. Thankfully, we were able to get out of that with some props from Tetra. And also, the help of this very poorly ruined Vritra allowed us to win this. Oh, shoot. Oh, deep. oh, he just killed himself. Perfect. Nice. Let's get rid of that defense break just in case. It's a two-turn defense break. Nice proc. Yeah, whenever I play with my Siege Kinky, I miss my RTA one because it does so much more damage. <laughs> this one's so weak. <laughs> it's very weak. Even with skill two, it doesn't do much. It doesn't feel like I'm putting a big impact. Oh, this one was mine. I kind of want to bring in actually a very slow Fang with Leo. And we have to kill the Theo first. I don't see me losing. Oh, let's make this girl not use it. Oh shoot, we pushed her back. Wait. That's huge. Oh, he landed. Oh, that's a good amount of damage. Um, oh. I want to be able to cleanse the defense break. Uh, actually, let's just use it. She got pushed back. So the Theo Mars will hit us first. Oh no, it goes for Tetra. Free. <gasps> That's fine. That's fine because we we have we have skill two. Nice. Let's just should we just should we just kill should we just kill yeah we should just kill this guy. Ooh, got it. That's fine. Oh, big damage! Look at that damage, dude. We have to save skill two for sure. Nice kill. Oh, if we got the defense break. Good stun. That's great. It shouldn't do too much damage. Because we have the Leo on the field. Come on, let's kill. Let's kill. Okay. GG. 
Now we could put this up because only this guy has a single target. Strip. Nice. Get destroyed. Come on, let's go. We land the defense rig on Pyong. I mean, not Pyongyang. Kapsu, and we don't land it on Theo. Kidding me? Put this up again. Because we don't know who Theo's going to hit. Theo could technically hit anybody. Look, he can't break this shield. Oh. oh my goodness, we're so close on breaking that. Let's get the let's get the attack buff out. That guy has like nothing. Oh wait, was that a little greedy of me? Going for Kapsu. Okay, let's bring this out. Okay, it's out. This is this is attack buff. Oh shoot. Yeah, attack buff is kinda weak. He really scales off of speed well. Reason why. Big damage, look at that. Six k what the heck it killed the Kapsu! <laughs> awesome. This one opened up right here. Thankfully, I had one that I could hit. And you know what? We have Camila. Against Kintin De Shang, probably like a Juno will be nice, but I think I use my Juno, yeah. We have a second Juno that's not scaled up, which I don't really want to use. So let's hold that off. I think using Mei Wang will be awesome though. It can't get stunned, it can't get controlled. I mean, we'll get pushed back, but I think that's fine. That looks good. Give us more sustain. And I think Angela is good. Or even, you know, using some new units will be nice. Another good, very good sustain in this comp will probably be Lucia. I mean, it's not on revenge, but I really don't think it needs to be on revenge. Just needs to counter this unit here. Is this good? No defense breaks or anything. We have decent sustain. I think this will be good. Let's go. Nice counter. Okay, here comes the procs. Here it's a giant net. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> well, here is the easy win, guys. Easy win. Oh, he is proccing a lot, though. Oh, the sustain comes in. One of the sustain, the. What do you call that? The protect, I guess. Perfect. Nobody's on destroy. So it should be easy for us. <laughs> soft pudding. <laughs> Love the soft pudding. Stun. Let's get it. Nope. Let's get a freeze on Chandra. Perfect. Kente Edition really can't do much against this comp. We brought out a really good comp here. Reset. It's on Nemesis. Interesting. Stun. Oh, uh, I think this guy has it now. Or maybe not. Come on. Oh, look, it, it can't push back. <laughs> Love to see it. Can't think Dishan could truly do nothing. And they don't have... Uh, they do actually have sustain because they have Pyeongchar. Defense break. But we should have put uh, Destroy on our monkey rather than Revenge. <laughs> We're still full health. I uh, love to see it. But they are proccing a lot. It's kind of annoying. Stun. Damn. Oh, wait. That's good. Nice. He doesn't have any more. Let's just heal up. Reset. Stop proccing, Chandra. Defense break. Come on. Give me like half the procs that the opponent is getting and we'll easily win. Oh, ah, we got it. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. To the wrong unit, please. Stun. <laughs> We're so healthy. Reset. Let's just let's just kill Chandra. <laughs> it doesn't matter if Camilla sleeps, because Pyeongchul just wakes her, wakes her up. Oh, stun. We're getting there, we're getting there. I think we have full stacks on Fire Monkey, so if we get a defense break and proc, that Light Monkey, Kintin Shang should be dead. 
proc right here. Oh, freak. <laughs> Did I actually give the fire monkey like double revenge or something? Or three revenge runes? <laughs> it's, it's countering really well though. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Freeze here. I'm freezing him so we could get the window to kill this guy. Proc here. I think it was a really a issue that the Pelantra is not on destroy. He needed at least one destroy unit for him to have a chance to win. Perfect. I actually think I didn't give a rune correctly to my Fire Monkey. It didn't proc once. We get a jump and we win. I'll be back after we're done with this. Cool. Sadly, I was not able to record the remaining two battles that I had left in yesterday's siege. So I recorded it, pre-recorded it, and I'm showing it to you right now. So the next battle, when the tower opened up, we took it into a rage gain defense, Chandra, Pyongchor with the Kumar. I actually did almost lose this because Pyongchor did not get defense broken. However, um, thankfully, the Hrelsvel gets very strong once he's in that state, the Berserk state. So he was able to dish out a whole lot of damage. And also being so quick, he was able to take multiple turns before the Pyongchor moved again. So you can see that. And then we actually lap the Leah and he goes again to kill off that Pyongchor. And the last battle was against another Rage Gang defense, a Chandra Pyongchar with Cop Su. I actually wasn't really worried about this defense since there isn't a whole lot of damage outside of Pyongchar. Yes, you guys could sometimes argue that Chandra also brings out a whole lot of damage, but there's really no defense broker in the opponent team. So if we brought in a lot of sustain, uh, even with multiple procs, I thought that it was very hard for the opponent to uh, kill off a unit. So I brought in the Tessarion, Camila with Riley, and I'll show you guys the builds that I used for these uh, for these offenses, uh, which I did multiple times in other videos. Uh, very a pretty fast Tessarion with a decently fast Camila is more of a heavier uh, damage set compared to the Belial teams that I use, um, because in that team I just want my Camila to move more so that she can put in more freezes and also keep getting constant um, heals but here we do want the Camila to actually act as a damage dealer so that's why it's on a crit damage build and it's a little slower um that protect coming in from Chandra is a little annoying onto Kapsu because our number one goal is to put oblivion onto Kapsu so I think at a certain point I just ignore that he has that I mean he got revenge there but the two turn sometimes it's just not enough because uh Kapsus or Pyongchors, Chandras, all of these units tend to violent proc when they're in defense a lot more. So it is safer to try and get that three turn Oblivion. As you see right here, he's out of it right away. But thankfully, before he moves again, we were able to get rid of Pyongchor, which actually solidified our win. I actually see no way that this team could win now or this defense could win, even if it does proc like five times in a row since it does not have that damage to go through Riley's sustain and also even the Camilla sustain. The Camilla sustain might be a little small, but you can see I just ignore that protect and I just put that three turn oblivion and then we start controlling the Chandra if it's possible so that that protect does not come in anymore. Um, and you can see we're just getting close, closer and closer to kill those units. Uh, thankfully, uh, we actually proc'd a decent amount as well, so it was definitely not a one-sided proc game. Um, so yeah, once that Kapsu died, it was just no way, right? Because technically, Chandra by itself is a half of a unit, or one third of a, or two thirds of a unit, since it can't use skill two, uh, which also impacts his usage of his skills because he uses that skill two to cycle his other skills. And with that, we were able to get that last win. So we were able to get that Siege win against Rage King and only, and only proc. The map looked like this. If we look at it through the battle record, we can actually see the win rates. So we ended with a 93% uh, victory rate. And I ended with a 9-1-6-12 in the defense. Rage King ended with 71 and only proc with 73. And I think with that win, the rank did not update because I think we were ranked 11 before that. I think with that win, we'll be within top 10, obviously. And it's probably when we start actually 
gonna start losing again because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a harder, much harder siege in the next one, and we will be tested. Thank you for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope everybody's having a great time with Siege. I think a lot have changed actually after the... I actually don't know the impact of the map change because I'm not the macro, but if you are a macro watching this video, please let me know what you guys think of the change. Is it actually really uh, helping with the 2v1 situation? Uh, I'm not too sure of that. Yeah, we'll love to hear about it. Also, a lot of meta changes too with the defenses. There were some buffs recently with the balance patch. So I know a lot of people are theory crafting, especially for the tourney or getting close to it. And so looking forward to the newer stuff. But that was it and hope to see you guys next time. Bye.